In the last few years, the strategy Hyundai has adopted with most of its cars when it comes to the interior has been to load features to the brim. The Creta is no different. If you look at the overall uh, cabin, uh, I find the overall quality uh, to be right up there when you talk about the segment uh, quality. Uh, in terms of features, again, uh, the Creta is uh, well specced out. You've got this uh, touch screen, uh, the infotainment screen. It offers you navigation. Uh, you can uh, also uh, access uh, all kinds of uh, connectivity uh, in the form of Bluetooth, uh, radio, uh, your um, aux, USB. All of that is present. It's got climate control. Apart from that, uh, if I have to talk about the space and the overall seating, the space again is uh, pretty much uh, uh, quite a lot. Uh, if I talk about the headroom again, not a problem at all. Uh, the seats themselves are pretty good. Uh, although I feel the side bolstering could have been a little better. Uh, it's not really bad, but then again, it's not really up there. Uh, the comfort in the seats is good. However, uh, the under thigh support is again good. Uh, in terms of uh, packaging, in terms of uh, ergonomics, again, the cabin is good. Everything is well uh, within reach for the driver. Uh, and if you talk about uh, this space, uh, the, your cubby holders and all, you can see I have this uh, one litre bottle. You have space for two of these. You have a compartment here where you can uh, keep all of those uh, bills and your uh, change. Even on the door pockets, uh, there is ample space for putting in these bottles. And after putting in the bottle, I still have space to probably fit in a smaller bottle and some more uh, coins and other stuff. So overall, uh, from a comfort uh, and convenience perspective, the Creta is right up there when you talk about uh, the features. From a driver's perspective, again, uh, very uh, well sorted. The ergonomics are good. What we are driving right now is the 1.6 petrol with a manual uh, transmission. Uh, however, you can also opt for the same uh, petrol engine, but with a automatic transmission as well, which has been the most recent introduction by the company. Now let's talk a little bit more about the infotainment screen because this is the part that you'll be interacting with on a daily uh, basis. Now, what you've got here is a color touch screen. Again, uh, it's loaded with navigation, so that's a plus point. You can uh, press the button for map and uh, view your location. You have the options to put in the address, uh, search for point of interest. All of that is available. Uh, in terms of connectivity, the options you get here is again that uh, you have the FM, you can use an aux cable, you can also use USB, you can use your phone uh, and uh, use your Bluetooth connectivity, stream audio and uh, use your Bluetooth telephony. So in all those respects, all those features are here. Uh, the overall uh, display is crisp, uh, the sharpness is good. The only uh, slight negative with this unit is that the input time, uh, the overall response time is a little bit slow. So when you really press something, it takes, there is a little bit of hesitation. There's a small amount of lag before the end result really comes onto the screen. But apart from that, it's a good unit, gives you access to all features that you would expect from a car in this price segment. And uh, it's again nestled in a dashboard, which is contrasting in color and is built with good materials so is good to look at as well so now i'm at the rear of the creta and uh, well uh, it is a good place to be in because there is a lot of space around if i have to talk about the rear seat itself uh, you can see uh, there is a lot of under good under thigh support right up to the point where uh, i have my knees uh, in terms of uh, the support, in terms of the backrest angle also, the seat is good. So if you're in this car at the rear, uh, going out for a long journey, this is a comfortable seat to be in for five, six or maybe um, eight hours. Now, uh, even in terms of headroom, again, uh, you can see there's a lot of space. So even if uh, someone, say 5, 10 or uh, 6 feet tall were to sit in this uh, uh, seat, again, there wouldn't be any problem of um, uh, head clearance. In uh, overall, uh, again, if I look at the uh, quality of the materials here, uh, it is good. Uh, the plastic quality, however, uh, the plastic in the rear, you can see uh, it's a little hard, 
but still it's not bad uh, you've also got these uh, rear ac vents so helps uh, cool down the cabin uh, quicker on those hot days you've got a 12 volt uh, socket here so you can keep your devices uh, charged so overall uh, when you talk of the cabin in terms of space uh, be it the front or the rear the creta scores good points because it's got very good uh, seats at the rear especially a lot of leg room good head room the front seats again um, are decent enough the uh, if you talk about the ergonomics at the front for the driver they're well sorted so overall from uh, us the creta gets a thumbs up from the uh, cabin perspective